Today on Plugin Friday, we're gonna look at a very special plugin. This one is called Gulfos. It's an intelligent equalizer. What's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Before we jump in into today's Plugin Friday, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything, and for all of you, share and like this video. Now, Goldfoss, an intelligent equalizer. Very special plugin, very different than the types of plugins that we're used to. Uh, when we talk about EQ, uh, we always see some uh, vintage gear uh, emulation of some sort. But with this plugin, it's something that is more modern. And this is something that I like about this plugin. It has a different approach to EQ. It makes me think of a dynamic EQ on steroids. So basically, Gulfoss is an intelligent equalizer that will balance your frequencies automatically in real time. So this is what I'm saying. It is special, modern and actually pretty useful. So uh, before we jump and look into you know, the inside out of the Goldfoss plugin, I just wanna let you guys know that I am giving away three Goldfoss licenses, and this is thanks to Sound Theory. Uh, now, if you wanna get into uh, this giveaway, all the details are down below in the description, or you can click right on top. Now let's go on the Sound Theory website and look at some more details concerning the Gulfoss Intelligent EQ. So I'm just gonna read a bit of what Gulfoss is about. Gulfoss is an intelligent equalizer that listens to a signal and decides how to prepare the audio so that your brain can get the most information out of it. The real-time analysis of Gulfoss uses Sound Theory's computational auditory perception model to understand which audible elements are competing for your attention. The internal auditory model allows Gulfoss to make objective decisions about the perceived sound. The equalizer is capable of changing its frequency response more than 300 times per second and without introducing audible artifacts or degrading signal quality. Together with the highly advanced computational auditory perception model that has been developed by Sound Theory, Gulfoss is the first and only product of its kind. So this is what the GUI looks like. In general, the, the, um, the plugin is very simple to use, but at the same time, there's a learning curve to it. Okay, so uh, that's why it's very important to, uh, to know what all of the settings uh, do. And this is what I'm gonna start with. First, we have Recover. It's gonna bring up parts of the frequency spectrum that are masked. Then we have Tame. And Tame will do the opposite. It's gonna bring down parts of the frequency spectrum that are too upfront. Then we have Bias. Uh, bias will favor or um, add sensitivity to the tame setting or the recover setting. So if I bring down the bias to a negative value, it is gonna focus more or add more sensibility to the tame setting. And same if I uh, bring up the bias, it's gonna do the same, but uh, favoring the recover setting. Now I'm gonna bring back my bias value to zero just by clicking on Alt and click on my mouse. And there you go, I am back to zero. And that will work for all the other settings. Uh, now, brighten will bright up your sound or dark your sound up. And boost will increase the low end while taming down the mid range or the other way around, bringing down the low end while increasing the mid range frequencies. Then we have bypass and we have the gain value that you can add or reduce. Then we have a very interesting tool called the range limiters. Okay, if I bring those uh, near the middle, um, that means that it's gonna select a band of frequencies uh, that Gulfoss will work on or will focus more on. Um, and the whatever is in the red zone will not be completely affected. Uh, and I say completely, that's because um, it's not gonna be 100% off processing. And that is the result of the dynamic loudness compensation that is built in to Gulfoss to match the input signal with the output signal. So I'm gonna show you how that sounds like later on. And know that you have a transition zone going on as well. And this is very smooth, sounds very, very smooth. And we can also do the opposite as far as the range goes and bring my uh, right range 
to the left, and now the center, okay, whatever is in between those range uh, limiters is not going to be affected by Goldfoss. Only the frequencies outside that zone uh, are going to be affected. So this is another way of uh, using those range limiters. So now let's give the Gold Fuss a try. Uh, I'm going to add it on a, uh, a mix, okay? It's like a rough mix, basically. Um, so let's have a quick listen to what that sounds like. Now, pretty cool. So now I focused a bit more uh, on the mid-range uh, frequencies. I'm going a bit low, but still. The boost, when adding a boost, even if we have the range limiters in place, the boost will not be affected by the range limiters. Let's listen to that again, and I'm going to boost the, uh, the boost setting way up, and you'll see what it's going to do, okay? Uh, it will apply the dynamic loudness compensation uh, that is built in, okay? So you'll see the mid-range going up depending if I'm increasing or decreasing the boost. Okay, so you get the idea. So that was on a stereo mix. Now let's try it out on an acoustic guitar, okay? Even if it was designed to work better on a mix bus, let's try it out on an acoustic guitar. Not too bad, actually, you know, just working on the mid-range um, of uh, this guitar works pretty well. Okay, now let's try that on some live drums. Not too bad. There you go, uh, works pretty well actually. So I kind of like that. Um, so there you go, so this was for live drums. Um, now I'm gonna try this on a female vocal. I wanna show you something pretty cool that you can do with Goldfoss, um, is use it as a de-esser. 
Okay, let me just reset those settings, all right? And um, let's have a quick listen uh, to what we have to work with. And I'm just gonna boost the tame, okay? To, to add just a lot of tame and to see where the, uh, the intelligent EQ is gonna, is gonna work on the top end. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. All right, so now I know where it's working. I'm just gonna bring my range limiter just to cover the uh, that range of frequencies. Let's try that again. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. All right, among the stars, let's listen to this line again. Among the stars. Let's bypass. Among the stars. Among the stars. Cool. You know, I'm very gentle with it. I'm just going to overdo it. Among the stars. Way too much. I'm going to bring it down. Among the stars. Among the stars. So this is the type of thing you can do with the Goldfoss, the intelligent equalizer. Uh, now, am I going to use this plugin on all of my tracks? The answer is no. This is not going to replace the classic equalizer. It's not designed to do so, and this is not the goal of Goldfoss. Anyways, now I'm definitely going to use this plugin on my future mixes if I need to. And I already did, anyways, uh, use this plugin on uh, one of my last mixes. And it worked like a charm. I tend to like using this plugin in a gentle way, okay? And uh, I love, love using the uh, uh, the range limiters, okay? I, I don't think I've used that plugin without using those limiters, just, just to focus a bit more on a certain band of frequencies. Uh, so I love the technology behind the plugin as well. It is different, and those are my thoughts on the Gulfoss from Sound Theory. And don't forget that thanks to Sound Theory, I am giving away three Gulfoss licenses, okay? So if you want to get a chance to win, all the details are in the description down below. Now note that the Gulfoss EQ will work with the iLock system, okay? So if you don't have an iLock, you're gonna to have to get one to use the Gulfoss. If you do like me, you're already set up. So there you go, this is it for this plugin Friday. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so, just like the video and share. And also, if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel and to click that notification bell. All right, my friends, I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.